So I believe I played the demo for this on the 360. I'm not exactly sure. Um, my memory is very bad for last week, let alone a decade ago. Um, yeah, let's uh, check this out. We're going to import our character. Hopefully all the between games stuff has um, has worked out okay. Put a patch together to make sure that carry over between games. There's achievements. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, so these are in-game achievements. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, that's reassuring that the, this is tracking properly because um, I had to grind extra just to get the uh, first 251 to pop. So um, looks like some of the stuff has worked. Um, but yeah, let's oh, uh, options, graphics, uh, favorite quality always. Uh, uh, yeah, frame rate should not be a problem. Music is always way too loud. Roll, we are going to invert camera. Always. Gameplay, run normal. That's off. Quad power usage is on. I don't need to worry about that uh subtitles and auto save on all right let's uh let's get going oh oh it's nice that you have all this stuff um Oh, I guess it imports into whatever the level is within this game world, I guess. Uh, Vanguard. I guess I didn't want to the rest of that. All right, I'm going to shut up during the uh, intro cutscene. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth! We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow her. She's a hero, a bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her.
Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Legs can't, don't work. So, uh, I mean, I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard, Liara, go now. Aye, aye. Uh, we romanced her, so I don't know if the dialogue between them is different because of that. Reminiscent of um, the opening of Halo Combat Evolved. Getting out that way. Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together. Well, that's really cool just how the sound drops out once you get outside into the vacuum of space. You can hear his breathing in your helmet.
game's over, I guess I just did a speed run. Chris, welcome back. The L for loss, loser. Oh yes, I would love to get a summary of the story because I have no idea what the hell happened at the end. Oh, it's an interactive backstory comic? Okay, that's cool. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make. The paths you choose. That turn the routine. Into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy. Captain Anderson's new ship when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Alenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. A ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive. Scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Lieutenant Alenko made the mistake of getting too close. I hit him with some type of energy. I grabbed him and threw him out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Udina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attack. Oh, nice, you can't read the, uh, the main suspect the for the Eden Prime all. Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Udina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security, Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led us to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime. 
and the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace that they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I'd need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Venezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species, Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the Beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Caden was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. You got friends on. told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission, finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved the queen of a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they were not happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone, with the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split my team into two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign, the Reaper. 
and Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he'd found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself, or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but it wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend and a great soldier. But I had to choose. Uh, she was also a racist. That so that's why we left her. Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. But Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Ash's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we put our feelings aside for the sake of the mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died like every species before them, but a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers, once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and reestablish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He'd caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope that the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running. And I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Council fleets battled Saren's army outside the Citadel, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races. But in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but... As the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left to me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician, ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be placed before him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough, but fair. But a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. 
Officially, the council would only say I was assigned cleanup duty, routing out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. All right. Hey, McGee, welcome back. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Alright, so this is going to explain why she looks different then, I guess, or if we were to choose her face. She old. I... Good enough get that they got Yvonne Strahovski, but I can't believe they got Martin Sheen as well. Alright, um... The default look. Custom, and then, um, oh, it doesn't let me do the default with, or start with the default as the custom and then change it from there. Alright, um, Mine is better. Uh, there were weird things that showed up on her face and the parts of it. Which is why I wanted to change it. Just like the uh, geometry of her face when it was rendered. Goofy. Oh, thanks, Chris. I'm glad that you found her to be an abomination. Um... I'm kind of digging that one. Also kind of looks like the, can I talk to the manager haircut? So maybe a pass on that. Do that one. Can we give her like the Cholo drawn eyes, drawn on eyebrows. An option. Uh, girl, you don't need makeup. You're perfect when you wake up. Um, or however that song from the Amy Schumer show goes. Oh, is that if, like, you can find a code online or something? Uh. Oh, oh god damn it. Why did it just. We go. Oh. Is there, like, a set? Okay, there is a. Alright. 
she's a redhead, so she's got to be pale, right? Let's give her a really nice skin. I mean, she's just been through dying in space, so. Eyes. Let's do that one there. All right. Brow color. For the, the give her the raccoon city look. What uh? What are you guys playing tonight? What are you working on? like a clown. Demo. Oh, I forgot the demos. Uh, I thought they were coming out tomorrow. From Xbox uh, demos. Um, see, I went Vanguard last time, right? Um, Chris, do you know if in carrying my character over from last time? Um, do I need to stay the same character or a same uh, class, character class? I want to get that achievement for playing through the entire game on uh, the same or the entire trilogy with the same character type or uh, character save. The Vanguard is... Yeah, I imported the save file at the very beginning. Let's just go with Vanguard because that's what I'm used to. On the monitor, something's wrong. She's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Scat's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Scat's falling back into normal range. Too close. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. 
pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters. Uh, how do I reload? Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. A uh, walk? Why? Why can't we run if you know this is a uh, major concern? Okay, so there, it's not overheating this time. I guess you have the, you just have regular ammo clips like other guns or other games do. Trying out Sable, Echo Generation, and Tunic. Um, I'm gonna have to take make a look at the list. Would you guys be interested in watching me stream them, like I did last year with the demos? Sure. I'll check. I'll check them out, and then uh, we may we may stream that tomorrow instead of more of this. Put our space opera on hold. Aid launcher. All right. Swap back to that. Hurry, get to the door, run. All right, through the fire and the flames. Cylinder, interesting, but not quite your game. And what game, based on title alone, I wanted to, or I thought would be cool, was Genesis Noir. And I am so glad that it was on Game Pass, because I deleted that shit real fucking fast. Apparently an easy 1K, but it was just garbage to play. That guy? Oh, apparently can't oh, can't help him. All right. Well, sorry, dude. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! 
Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've Looks got like access, you've got to get someone famous, but I can't place it. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Oh, wait, two, we were in a coma for two years? That's a, I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. All right. Gotta hurt. Falling back. Target down. Okay, I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? I said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were Oh, it's Kanye? Was? Okay, that's... No doctor, yeah, that's definitely who it is. When I first saw you... Now that you said it. ...meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. What do you mean, cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Uh, your bits and pieces? Okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it, what they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. We saw other people die. Extra Presley. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. They knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this 
frequency. Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Uh, can we save? Alright. And right, now I don't look like a weirdo just running around with our gun held in front of us. Spotted. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Get over here. Get over here. Just look out. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room. Shepard. Still feels so clunky to run by holding on the A button. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and So used to using the uh down here. Bastards got me in a leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> Tim the Tat Man? We talk about this after we fix my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Unity! Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now, hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? Uh... I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. Um... Then why did she wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. <laughs> Let's get out of here. It, it blew up right next to him and he was fine? Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Oh, uh, What? They the ones who got in a major fight with in the last game? I wiped out my share of Cerberus projects when I was a Spectre. Back then they were trying to kill me. Why the change of heart? Those answers are way above my pay grade. But basically, things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. 
I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. Is Wilson I have control over him, but I don't need to worry about his health, it looks like. here. Keep easy. At least the controls are pretty much the same as uh, part one. I get a pad? All right. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. Once you've found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all the circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Right? Why wasn't it? Okay, this is weird that they're not like unloading. Subject has been recovered, but the oh, it's like a delayed pop on all this stuff here. from here. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you were... Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. You should have taken him alive, see what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really think Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, commander? 
I knew she was Australian, but it's still weird just hearing her in Australian since I know her best from Chuck. I know she's on um, Handmaid's Tale, but I, I haven't watched that. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you, and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon, if you ask Wilson. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. She's right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Um, they're robots. They don't rot. They rust. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. All right. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? Have been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? Um... We should move on. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I wouldn't keep the elusive man waiting. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. All right. How much it costs for them to get Martin Sheen? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. From what I hear, I cost you a fortune. Why'd you do it? For the defense and preservation of humanity. I didn't spend two years and billions of credits bringing you back to serve as a common soldier. But humanity is up against the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. 
While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing, human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Um. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. The Alliance is overwhelmed by the responsibility you gave them. They're too busy building relations to put resources into verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Seems about right. You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Um... Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. All right. Well, that explains why we didn't have a uh, Wilson under our control. I still somehow got more Paragon than Renegade points. Assuming one of these unlocks. Okay, by putting one point in. You, all right, the one. Do I don't understand how it's spending points. You missed any red hot gameplay? Uh, no, you just missed uh, Martin Sheen talking. Filling in backstory, but how many times have you played through this already, Chris? I know you're playing through it now on uh, 
Legendary Edition. I'm assuming you played once or twice on 360. Okay, so these are already unlocked. I need to worry about my points here. Assuming this will unlock pool then. Three total, okay. Okay, so, oh, okay, now I'm seeing where it says required. Oh, God, my brain is stupid. I spent a good portion of this afternoon dealing with housing bullshit. So, my brain is spent. Um, I guess then pool will just launch you for now. All right. Okay. Um, so from here, let's go ahead and make a save. Pop-ups are super delayed. Don't live in a house, forehead? Yeah. Customize your... Of course I'm going to wear armor, because it's like a badass. But type? Oh, I can't change anything right now, apparently. Can I get a red and black suit? Because that would look legit. Ooh, all right. Um, I think I like this one better. Yeah. Between these two. All right, this is this is uh this is pretty cool. Oh, and there's a okay, that looks ca that looks very casual. This that is casual. Her knees look weird as hell. Um, yeah, let's do the hoodie. Um, oh, Miranda, the hello. The man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. <laughs> Just remember who's in charge is like a total shitty, pissy bitchy answer. Um, I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders.
I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. For someone who spent two years putting me back together, you don't seem real fond of me. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Um... I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Um. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. And that was it. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it, or we can do it. I don't like your attitude. Alright, let's uh, talk to Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. There was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. The old council was dead, and humanity took control of the new one. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. New boss, same as the old boss. Uh, okay. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. All right. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and save. 
Oh, we probably want to switch squads. Oh, I don't have them on my team yet, so I guess I can't really do that. Um, um, okay, so that's what we need to do. bonuses oh okay it's from carrying over we should be there shortly Shepard the elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following oh, my orders? Uh, okay, I don't we know why we have to do that twice. Just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Ghosts? I didn't know this was a horror game. Uh, now that I have them with me, let's see what we can do here. Um, oh, he has to be loyal first, I guess. These hoes ain't loyal to me already. Guns away, psychos. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage. No signs of battle. Oh, 
not, not a door we can enter. I guess only doors that have a little green thing are printable. Strange. Attention right. Loki Max. They named after uh McGee's cat? Should have been hostile. They should have recognized us as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Oh, okay. I see where I thought it was going to be something else on the screen, not on the little mini map there. I don't know, I like the uh, quick time event more than that one. Um, nice. What is... Health? Oh, okay, so you can... Okay. So you can do a uh trouble ahead. Got no shield. Ooh, fuck. All right, that fucked me up. Hey. Is that did that heal my health too or was that just the shield? I, can I no? Can show what my health is like? Running low on ammo. Which is uh no bueno. Stop right there! Franta, you said you'd let me handle this. <gasps> Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that you're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Bruh. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. 
Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Thanks for the warning. We'll Is that care. what those things were? Or? Great if we got some ammo here. We're compromised. Alright, that was easy. Fuck me, all right. Oh, you only get one shot at these? Lame. Use overload on them. Um, do I have overload? Shockwave. Miranda has overload, alright. this come on we can still catch them I did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover open by the, the doors. Open the pod bay you take point. doors, Hal. Moving to cover. Understood. I do like that they uh, implement a lot of the tutorial stuff. within the gameplay. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Two armor sets enemies on fire and damages health. All right. Overload will take out their shield.
Alright, the cooldown on it isn't too bad. bit of work here. Oh, can we wing that? What it Oh, well, that would, did not work well. Fragili, it must be Italian. Uh, any demos that are absolute dog shit that I should not worry about downloading? Okay. I'll take it. Anybody else in chat who uh, has played any of the demos? Easy. That's why I put my gun away. Dummy. Oh. Ollie, are you okay? This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded, Shepard. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Alright. Um. There are a page that has all the downloads? Or like links to all the ones that are available? Or is it just on the, uh, the console itself? Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Mechs will protect. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. 
Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting Oh, so they're colonists? PlayStation 5s? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. Uh, okay, that was... What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Akima's really gonna fucking hate me, aren't they? He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank she you. is not happy. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. 
Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army, or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. So, oh. he, he became Chichanka from Rainbow Six Siege? What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you could convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Does this one get blown up at the beginning of three and then we get the Normandy SR3? Let's 
It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. That's how they became the Guardians of the Galaxy. Bit of screen tearing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It may just be on on TV rather than on uh, Elgato. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Um, having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice, nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Oh, this salutes me, dude. So I'm assuming the first thing we want to do is is get the professor, Professor Solus or whoever. All right, uh, squad points. Do... Oh, I remember I have to do it one time. All right. Oh, and I don't have anybody else, so I can't work with their stuff. All right, um, save.
about Yeed, okay? So these are basically just all the side missions then? Master Thief, okay. Uh, and Status has been changed from deceased to alive after deducting modest administration fees for closing the file. The substituting change in status and activation of your account, you have a remaining balance of 100,000 credits, okay? That's then all the archived messages. Okay. Uh, before we go, welcome aboard, Commander. Do uh, map. Let's talk to somebody else here. Harry Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Want to be working under us? I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Ooh, all right. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Uh, I am very overly taxed right now. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes, I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Um... This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. <laughs> I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. This organization oh. has a dark Not reputation. at all. We look out for was, I, they Advanced change stuff around. Save human lives. They're good goals. I hate that they uh, changed where the dialogue things are. Yeah, she's be all creeping on her already. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. <laughs> I drop you? That's a really fucked up answer. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Fuck yeah. yeah. That's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh... I'm sure there will be plenty to, uh, talk about later. I better go. Okay. 
Maybe we'll talk later. Uh, you can count on it. Um, let's see. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. So we need to get a scientist then. Oh, I need to... Oh, this is what's already, what's here and what's already there? Okay. Okay. been time to really settle in and take stock I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters it's a privilege to serve on the Normandy commander you may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy maybe as long as the elusive man walks his talk and you do the same I'll do my best to make sure we succeed that's been the condition for my service so far I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past what has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. <laughs> this little salute. What a nerd. I'm just I'm standing here in a fucking hoodie and yoga pants or something and like I'm just gonna salute you, Commander. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, Why that alters the, the state mouse of the sideways. Lines. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. Her voice sounds super familiar. Kind of sounds like Marina Baccarin from uh, Firefly and Gotham. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. I know she did the uh, the voice of the AI in um, what you call it, Flash TV series. Back when I still watched that show. Right. She definitely needed more. Uh, screen time in Deadpool 2. Uh, I've heard good things about this movie she did with Gerard Butler last year, which is on uh,
HBO Max right now called Greenland. Um, I already have. I don't know why these aren't popped, but I already have them all because I used the uh, thing to do it in. Uh, Aspect one. I don't know how many of these are in game achievements versus. I mean, these are all carry over or sorry, uh, all achievements within the game. Chris would know for sure. He's the, he's the guy who knows gamer coins better than anybody else. Um, Can select music. Oh, I don't want to get YMCA'd. Talk to Miranda. She'll probably be pissy. Men's restroom. restroom is on the starboard side of the ship. Uh, it's, it's cleaner than uh, would expect. Oh, it's exactly the same. All right. Well, I guess there's equality in the future. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Camp. Oh. Uh, life support. Access to life support is restricted. That was probably a good idea. The port observation deck is closed until needed. All right. Doctor Chakwas is here. Hell yeah. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. 
There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Alright. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Alright. Access to the AI core is restricted. Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Looks a lot like Presley, even though boilies. Presley's dead. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. And his office, all right. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Um, so you're perfect? It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. All right, and there was other stuff that she was able to say. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Right? I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Is there anybody else we need to t talk to? We've talked to all of our crew people so far. I think there's only one level of the ship we haven't gone to yet. Engineering. Loading times are fast as fuck, boy. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? So, a Scottish engineer of a spaceship. Boom. I wonder what that could be referencing. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there is an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Yeah, definitely, definitely Star Wars. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. 
We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Daddy bags, oh my god. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Uh, that was it. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. Alright, that's pretty cool. More? Alright. Just a lot of a lot of dead space. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ram vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. Uh, oh, we, Mr. Chef guy, we could have talked to you. He has a mission, side mission, I'm assuming. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? All right, this guy's nice. Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? <laughs> I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. 
Daddy bags and butt puckers. That's, uh... Name is something else. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man? Working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. I could use this guy to do the repairs in my house. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands most <laughs> of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. All right. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. <laughs> that's uh, that's about how most people feel about work. All right. Was oh, there any other codex stuff we could talk to? Uh, Ed or Ed. Excuse me. Get with the tiredness out of nowhere there. A gunnery officer is required to access the gunnery control station. All right, fair enough. Joker would like to see you up on the bridge. All right, let's go see Joker. Uh, let's save before we talk to him. Where we got some lateral drift. The old Normandy never had that. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice. <laughs> Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off-hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24-7. Insurance. Sure. Oh, we're Wait, was there more that we needed to... Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. You know what? I don't want to go it's into the now. details Locking about all that open. shit. Uh huh. Booker. Commander. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. 
What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't <laughs> need it in my day-to-day. -day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back <laughs> of your head in comp side. You just want to punch him, but he's special and he sets fires or something. <laughs> Okay, a little too far, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. Oh my god. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, I can see why everyone loves this game. Says it's the best. All right. Um. The map. What's this area of the ship? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Other... What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Uh, Tiger, I'm, I'm loving it so far. How are you doing tonight? Thanks for swinging by. Have you, have you played it before? Very weird, is that one? This is your favorite one. That's what I've heard from from everyone I've talked to about this series. Commander, you received a new message at your private terminal. All right, thank you, Kelly. Uh, what? Going to lie to me, girl? Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that, but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. Uh, I've heard two is the best, and um, three up until the ending, and then one, and then the ending to three. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I think you agree with that? Okay. Alright, we already did all this stuff when we were go. flirting with her before. Okay. Maybe we'll talk right. later. Um... Wow, there's a whole bunch of shit we can do here. Uh, we should probably look at our journal. Oh, so it's... Oh, these are like all the different recruitment missions, I guess. There's a specific order I should go in. Um...
Love 3 until the non-consequential ending. That's what I heard. People are pissed about, you know, they put in all the, you know, hundreds of hours between the three games and the ending. Nothing. Uh, to be fair, it's still very worth playing. That's what I've heard, just because it gives some sort of closure. Um, let's see. I guess I want to mark everything as I don't have it blinking at me. Same here. Alright. Um. Okay, so at least it shows where the missions are this time. That is really fucking useful. if this cursor moved a little faster. Oh, okay. Um. Talia, okay. We do not have enough fuel to travel any significant distance. All right. I just realized it's not a cursor; it's an actual little ship. Uh, fuel. Oh. No idea how much fuel I need. Um, great if this was a lot faster. Oh, okay. All right, and we want to go to putting this guide here. Unexplored. I have detected an anomaly. Oh man, this is such a, uh, a tough choice. Who am I going to choose for my squad? Uh, 
I, I mean, you don't have anything else, so it's just I don't know, the regular weapons, I guess. This kind of looks like a planet from uh, or uh, let Ashley the space racist die. Nice. Alright, um, let's see, so we're gonna do... Cool. Power's back already, lady. That warp. Okay. Drop them. Gravity one. The mother, huh? This will put them down. Nice shot. Nice. All right. The shield. Uh, she's got the. The Lord, right? Jabroni's done. Are you, uh, have you picked this up yet, uh, Tiger? Are you gonna go through and play it on the newer consoles? your PC started one just haven't been able to dig, dig your teeth in yet not like uh, just went through a very stressful experience of buying your own house um, right we're gonna need to bypass that so we should probably save just in case I fuck it up field is clear been drained mostly, yeah, but it's just mental exhaustion more than anything else. It was freaking out, but all right. So you can't look at them once you have it clicked on. No money, more problems. Oh, yep, definitely uh, having problems if we had to open up the door and more dudes came out. Alright, can we do... Why is she recharging? Oh, she's auto-doing shit, I guess, on her own. Kinda hard when I'm trying to do a uh, work towards that achievement.
Alright, there we go. I do like that you don't have to worry about overheating and that it is ammo dependent. Combat drone? Nani? I know you've been playing COD. Um, anything else you've been working on lately? Cried New Dawn, how are you liking that? Field is clear. Far Cry game, so you're happy with it so far. I I liked it as continuation of the base game. Interesting to go back to that world and see, you know, how what had changed based on how I've ended. I think I like five the most out of the like, three, four, five, and primal. We'd probably go three, uh, sorry, five, three, four, and then primal. Oh, you've only played 4 and 5 all the way through? 3 is the first one that I played. I picked it up on a whim when it came out. And I really, really liked it. Instantly kind of hooked. That one there. best thing 3 has going for it is uh, the character of Voss, for sure. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Um... I will just hold on to this data for myself. Data received. Oh, all right. Clean a mission discovered by scanning an unexplored world. All right. Um, there's one for ex exploring an entire galaxy, right? 
Primal is the one I'm least interested in, but your fiance loved it. See, my problem with Primal, and this is entirely just me being the nerd that I am when it comes to stories and and narratives, is that it um, just it was not a compelling story, especially after three and four. This was like there was no story and characters just were not very fleshed out to me um right Research projects Platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. All right. Great heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Launching a probe. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. I'm assuming this is what we're supposed to be doing with these. Probe launched. Looks like I'm shooting sperm at an egg. Results are rich, okay. Probe away. Launching probe. I'm all out of probes. Oh. Can I buy more probes? station. 
looking to max out on fuel that way I don't have to keep returning. Binder, binder, the binder full of women, like, uh, fuck, what's his name? Mitt Romney. The thing about binders full of women. Probe away. These are mostly like all full of platinum. we can go to here. Per orbit. Per deck. Probe launched. Launching probe. Okay, well, I need to get a science nerd for that first, I think. There's an achievement for scanning all the planets in the system, I believe, so that's what I'm working on. Launching probe. Probe. We don't need platinum, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so it says, um, Omega Nebula, okay, the one we're in right now, I believe. Omega Nebula. And we just would need to go to all the different places within here to get that 40% up to 100%, I think. All right. Uh, let's make a save. And then... Go check on the uh, the Normandy crash site. Oh, oh, okay. Already out, all the way over here.
launching a probe. Oop. Yeah, I'm good on platinum, so. Launching probe. out there save the mission one for last things we do for achievements am I right gamers Uh, are you working tonight or? Landed the one probe there. Um, can't all be the last forty percent just from one planet, right? Anomaly detected. Probe away. I have found something. Can confirm the wreckage of the SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. All right. That. Uh, am I going to try Hades when it comes to Xbox? I have not made up my mind about that yet. I was thinking about that yesterday. Um. Because I'm not a roguelike person. I'm not like Chris. I don't love roguelikes and uh, PC games. He does. <laughs> you working this month? Oh, God. Uh, it fucking feels like it with all the back and forth paperwork I have to do. Um, I definitely feel Xbox had the best conference I didn't watch wholesome direct so I can't judge that I haven't watched that yet um, but I loved the amount of uh, games that were launching straight to game pass which I mean it's certainly helped me explore games I never thought I would, or I didn't think I would play. You know, games that I wouldn't have spent the money on um, to buy it for myself. So I definitely feel them leaning into that is amazing. They're gonna have lots to play for the rest of you. Yeah, so, which is really good considering how Broke, I'm about to be. Um, Probe launched. I wish they would have done a date for Halo other than holiday. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Here's the mission here. Oh, I oh, just need to land. Okay. Um, 
trying to think of the games that stood out to me. It uh, placed one side scrolly pixel art cyberpunk game was um, that touched me in all the good places. Doesn't instill confidence in everyone. No firm date. Yeah, exactly. Or gun away. Thinking December based on the other releases Xbox Studios has going, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But that's their big holiday game. So whether it's uh, December or um, or late November, I would assume probably late November, so they can get the Black Friday sales. We're just running around looking for dog tags, I guess. Um, was what was the uh, the vampire game that they showed at the end? I think it was Redfall. Is this the place to... Are there other places to put the monument? Or I'm just going to run around before I... That. Great if, you know, I could walk up something without it. Instantly uh, pulling out my gun like a psychopath. Oh, was that a coffin that they were in? Happen to smash open. Only other month without an Xbox game is September. Um, I think the other games that stood out to me. Okay, so there are other places to the monument. Well, Ashley, you space racist. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it would be fun to watch me fail miserably at Hades. I do love Greek mythology. It was one of my favorite parts of middle school when I was a kid. I was hoping for info on Perfect Dark. Like, I'm glad Phil mentioned it. But I wish they, they would have given us some stuff. I 
an update or of any kind. Excited for Psychonauts 2, Halo, and Forza, yeah. I never played uh, the original Psychonauts, but I know the camera of it did not age well. Uh, when Shiz went to stream it a year or two ago. Oh, well, at least Presley died because he's a racist too. Jesus. Oh, all right. Well, at least he learned his lesson. I don't feel bad now. Thinking so far, I would put the monument at the main area. The hull of the ship. Oh, a helmet. My helmet. Oh. I mean, student section, the Game Pass uh, app looks stacked all of a sudden. St on uh, on their Twitter, all the uh, all the titles that they fit into the picture that they posted on Twitter, I was really surprised they're able to fit it all. the refined element. Alright, been through here. Back for blood? Yeah. That's something I'm glad is game pass because I don't think I would have I don't think I would have bought it. I never really... I mean, I have Left 4 Dead 2. Bought it because a friend of mine, a, co a former co-worker of mine, played a lot of it. Um, but I uh, still have not gotten anywhere close to finishing it. It's just really hard to schedule time with like three people, you know, to, to stuff. But I'm thinking that when that comes out, depending on, well, depending on when it comes out, if it comes out in uh, August, that's going to be a bit of a yikes, just with school year starting. But we definitely want to play it on stream with with viewers. We're at 16 of 20.
Wait, oh, there's the Mako. But I'm assuming all the uh, fragile crates. I just wish there's a separate mount mantling button. So janky. The thing that really surprised me was that Halo multiplayer was free. Which is a great thing, obviously. Um... Because it'll at least have the, pay, uh, the player base will be expanded. Um, which could also be a pain in the ass because, you know, all, all the kids download it for free. Get, you know, the Fortnite crowd. All right. Oh, okay, this is Presley shit. We went up that way. Battlefield 6, uh, 90 bucks in Canada. Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be 60 or 70 here in the States. Okay, that's where that was. Alright, so I need more dog tags and then to place monument 70 for next gen i'm gonna think back to n64 games if they were i think they were 50 not 60 bucks back in the 90s obviously inflation's a thing but um That's that's what makes Game Pass so great is because it takes away the risk for so many games. You know, I can think of a couple games that I was really disappointed in, having dropped the sixty bucks on, like For Honor or uh, Sea of Thieves at launch, Destiny One at launch. Game Pass gives it 10% off, I guess, but still, yeah. Oh, yeah, for Battlefield, because that's an EA game, right? So it's going to give a 10% off, which was really nice about... I bought this, it was 10% off, plus... Uh, six bucks back in rewards points, so I, I basically got $12 off. Right. A few more tags. Probably would have helped if guide or something. Can you not go down? Okay, there we go. Nineteen of twenty. Depressing that she's doing this all by herself, but I guess it makes sense. Is uh, Miranda and Jacob probably don't give a fuck about it. All 
Right, if I was a dog tag. I'm surprised there's not like skeletons and shit where the dog tags are. Presley's data pad. Chat, if, if you can see it, tell me, but I also know people are memers. They try to bamboozle me. Though I think Chris is probably asleep by now. Alright, nothing there. Put it at the front of the ship. For Joker. Do we want to put it where? It actually says nor the, it says the name of the ship. Yeah, let's do it the, where the name of the ship is. It makes the most sense. I'm assuming that's it, and we can go back to... How do we leave this place? Oh, objective. Oh, shuttle. Okay. We don't have the, the Mako, which is kind of a blessing. Alright. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Okay, there we go. Alright, well, I feel like a good person for doing that. Uh, let's go ahead and make a save. And, uh, that's a good place to stop for tonight. So thank you, YouTube, for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.